Hey guys, welcome back to Coco DIYs, bringing you the best tips, tricks, and tutorials to make having fun affordable. And in today's video, I'm going to bring it back down to the basics and show you guys how to do a um, spiral balloon column. So if you guys are ready to get learning, then let's get crafty. The key to a good spiral balloon column is to have your balloon sized properly. So if you are working with 12 inch balloons or 11 inch balloons, you wanna size them down enough to where they're very uniform, but they still don't have that cone shape. So, cause as you also twist them together around your base, you wanna make sure that there's still enough give um, for the balloons, especially if they expand in the heat or anything like that, then you wanna make sure there's enough give to where the balloons don't pop. So these balloons are blown up to capacity. As you can see, they're kind of you know, in that cone shape, they are, let's see, 12 inch um, balloons. So you're gonna press against a firm, a hard surface or firm surface and kind of size them down to where you think it's gonna fit. I like to use a balloon sizer. So I'm sizing all my 12 inch down to eight because I don't want this balloon too bulky. And the way you do that is just by loosening the neck the neck that you have the hold on as you loosen it it's the same principle as when you round out your balloons that's why I, I kind of try to round it first and then size it so then that way um, I don't have to keep pressing out air once I get them sized and then you're just gonna tie them together boom so we're gonna do this color and we're also gonna do the cameo and then once we have about maybe um six to eight pairs of each then we'll put them on the stand So now that we have all of our larger balloons blown up, we are going to assemble our stand, assemble our spiral column. So this is a a portion of a stand that I have um, that doesn't uh, that is kind of broken. So um, this is about maybe three and a half feet tall stand, um, and I have it propped up on this bin so you guys can see. So whatever color you start with, it's best, it's best when you're working with um, a spiral, the simplest spiral you can do is two colors. So, and a four points. So you're gonna have your two colors in opposite hands, right? You're going to, you're going to, let's see, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see. Okay, you're gonna have them opposite sides not around the stand yet then when you're ready to cross them and connect them to the stand you're going to cross the front two colors or front two balloons like that right and if you in here i don't know if you guys can see but they're crossed but they're not crossed around the stick yet so in order to do that you're going to take the side that's not crossed and cross it twice, once and twice. That way every color alternates, right? So as you go up the column and up the stand, you're gonna slightly turn each color and start at a different position so then that way the spiral will create itself.
once you get to the top of whatever stand you're using, you want to cover that topper with a color that you're using. So it could be a seven inch balloon, 12 inch balloon, doesn't really matter. You just want to make sure you cover the coarse edge of your stand. One, to protect the balloons, two, to protect the stands, and three, to create thick friction, balloon on balloon friction. So that way, whatever you top it with um, won't just pop off and your balloons will stay on your stand. So I have one more level, one more level of balloons, you know, and so as you, what I wasn't doing was pushing down. So you should also try and push down your balloons in the middle as much as possible because that'll also help with creating friction and making sure that your balloons don't pop off of your stand. Okay, so now we have our spiral. Okay, and we got probably about a little, maybe like an inch at the top available, which doesn't really matter as long as you have that balloon on there, there's friction, so that's not gonna move. But we want to, um, we wanna add a large balloon at the top. So usually, um, a lot of columns will be covered with a covered with a or topped with a mylar balloon, but um, I don't have any mylars that will really match. So I'm gonna blow up a lilac 24 inch balloon. I blow up my 24 inch to about 20 inches. <laughs> okay, we're gonna tie that off. Now, now a lot of these bigger balloons have long enough necks to where you could like just use that, but I like to at least try and, um, oh my gosh. I wanna at least try and keep that balloon preserved. So what I'm gonna do is get a 260, stretch it out. I'm gonna tie it up under the knot right here. We're gonna double knot that. In a previous video, I, I used a Mylar balloon, so there's a different way to tie it if you are using a Mylar balloon. Um, yeah, but yeah, so we got that tied around with these two little tails. What we're gonna do with those tails, we're gonna make sure that our, hold on, just, oh, wait a minute, so you guys can see the whole picture. Okay, so what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna put our giant balloon in the middle, right on top of where the top of our stand is, right? So we'll put the neck, nestle the neck in the between there. And then on one side, you're gonna take this one tail and you're just gonna figure eight it around the lower balloons. And you could just let it go because like I said, latex on latex creates friction. And then we're gonna get our other tail right here. Do the same thing on this side. We're just gonna go down around this one and around the other one next to it and then maybe one more around the bottom. Now you could tie this off if you want to, um, depending on the weather and if this is gonna be outside, then you could tie it off, but that's pretty much it. The latex on latex will create enough friction to where you could do this and you're done. So let's get you guys a full view. Okay, now this is a better look against the green. I think it looks really, really good against the green. And one thing I, I forgot to tell you guys is um, the more points you use, the more balloons you use, the more um, the more fuller the garland, the uh, the more fuller the, fuller the column's gonna be. So in these gaps right here, you can add five inch balloons in 
or florals, whatever you want. But this is just simple, just a simple, just a simple way to add a little something to your event at home. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.